Hello everyone, my name is Chacha Ekefani and I love my life. As you can see from this video, I am pregnant and as has been peculiar with my former pregnancies, every time I'm pregnant, something in me just erupts. These things that erupt within me have just a few days ago finally gotten the diagnosis of being bipolar disorder. It makes me do crazy things, think crazily, and act crazily. Over the years, I have suffered episodes, and I didn't know what they were, where they came from, these feelings that always made me feel different from the inside four years. On the 3rd of October, I had yet another episode that drove me out of my house. I, was, I found myself racing to Zenith Bank to withdraw money, to do welcome back of my phone lines that I had destroyed myself. It was, as my husband tried to stop me on her way to Zenith Bank, that I realized that that was even a Saturday. When that failed, still acutely manifesting from bipolar disorder, I found my way to Southgate Hotel, where Nollywood people usually camp and make departures from. Prior to that day, I didn't know I had bipolar, but my husband did. He did because two weeks before the 12th of October, I had had yet another serious episode that landed me at the hospital, still First Delta American Hospital. It was so bad, I regret most of the actions that came with that episode. But my hospital didn't tell me that it was bipolar when I was discharged. Dr. Isiomo Okoba, the doctor and the owner of First Delta American Hospital, they had told my husband on that visit that your wife is bipolar, but my husband was finding the better time to bring the news to me when another relapse happened. And it happened this time because he tried to get me to take my meds, to take my medications. And like I said, I didn't know that I was really a bipolar um, victim, a bipolar patient, I meant to say. I didn't know. But I took out my anger on him when he said, did you take your drugs? And growing up, I didn't used to like to take drugs. I still don't. But look at all the drugs that they gave me from the visit to the hospital two weeks ago. Aldomet, this is for pregnancy, they said. Olazepam, sulfate, folic acid, B-complex, and haloperidol. I started flushing this down the toilet instead of taking them. Three days I didn't take them and it resulted in the embarrass, embarrassing display that I displayed in front of Southgate. My husband said take your drugs but I got angry with him like how dare you try to swim it like those doctors and nurses that are Ill and mentally ill. That was his only crime. I flipped it on him like an enemy and I heard myself saying crazy things like I'm leaving my husband. I, I'm not leaving my husband. I would never leave my husband and my children and my home. My family, having a home, being Mrs. Fanny, and being mother to the beautiful children God has given me, is too much blessings to take for granted. And so I say this to, other, I say this to as many as are out there that care about me as a person and care about my brand as such a family that I didn't leave my home, I am not leaving. Saying that I'm living with my life in the video you saw on 3rd October is one out of the many crazy things that I say and that many bipolar disorder patients say when facing episodes or crisis. I realized that the video I also made defending my husband being uh, alleged to be a wife bitter has got some people even insinuating more mess. My younger brother, whom the only time I have seen him, boom, the last time I had seen him, 
is May 12th last year. I had my son Chilere on the 10th of May 2019. I saw you, Ike, on the 12th of May. I have never set eye on you since then till now. It's over a year, it's almost two years. Even when I called you early this year, you didn't pick my call. You didn't return it either. And here you are out there putting fire where there's none, creating doubt so that no one will know what to believe anymore because you're my family member. But here I am, seated and telling the whole world that personally, as charity, over the years, even before becoming Mrs. Fanny, there have been an age-long strain between me and the Eke family. So it's no surprise that my brother will come to say things that a detractor would say. Ike, stop it. It's not cute. Stop it, because I deserve better from you as a sibling, whom I have been nothing but good to. I also realize that there are colleagues out there who, um, Victoria Nyama and Georgina Onoaha, I choose to translate your videos and concerns as part of you loving me because it takes love for someone to go out there and start to make proclamations or raise alarm on behalf of a person. But in this case, there is no need for any alarm that has been raised. This is not me trying to save my marriage, it's not damage control. I'm pregnant for what would have been my fifth child, if not for one of the post-traumatic situations I've had in the past, all of which I have said I will translate into a movie. But hey, guys, I'm back. I'm back as Mrs. Fanny. I was discharged from the hospital on the 7th of October. My husband and I, we are in Abuja, have been for the past days. I thank him for his patience and understanding throughout this trying period. I'm so glad that I, there's finally a name for waiting to do me since. Because if now by doing something they do me, I, I wasn't really understanding. I finally do with these drugs. I finally noticed that that thing called by school I saw that I am one of the many people out there that have it. And no, I am not ashamed to say that I have it. I am living my story. I am the experiencer of these things. And it's a learning process and a growth call for me. And I'm embracing it totally. I even want to use this opportunity to thank some very good and close family friends of ours, like Benny in Houston, Texas. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Kula in Atlanta. Thank you, Ken and Yehwe. You're also in the Western world and you know about these things and how it comes upon people out there. And so my case is one out of the many cases. It's not something to be ashamed of, I reiterate. In fact, just like I hinted earlier that the real emotion picture um, highlight in details my story because I strongly believe that many women who have left their homes did out of bipolar disorder. You probably didn't know it wasn't diagnosed. In my case, Dr. Enebe, still one of the affiliations from the first data hospital, sat with me for long hours of diagnosis. He had me explaining my life experiences from when I was a teenager and how something that happened as a teenager left me scarred and untreated. Internally, I didn't heal from that. Then growing up to put, having a company with my husband and having to mentally push through amidst the inherent um, struggles that companies in general face here in Nigeria, all of this have built up into post trauma, depression, have built up into bipolar. But I'm fine now, guys. I missed my meds. That's what happened. I missed my meds. I didn't know I should never do that and I'll never miss them again. And for my colleagues, like I said earlier, uh, there are some that, like Ernest Toby, I thank him for coming to Southgate that day. It was him that hinted at my husband. He said, could, could child be bipolar? I recall he, he did say that. And the moment Dr. Onyeka, doctor, the doctor that works with first at the American Hospital, Dr. Mayer, Dr. Onyeka confirmed that indeed that this is one of my episodes that he did his best and helped with some other people. Obin Lukezo was there, and many other people whose names I cannot begin to call one by one. But I'm thankful to everybody that, that have loved me for all these years. Guys, God win in our situation. And I love my husband, I didn't lose him. 
he, he, he doesn't beat me and this is no damage control please if you love me stop spreading the lies i'm back with my life i'm getting used to the new normal the pictures that i've been posting on social media these past days it's me it's me it's not my husband quit cursing him out it's really unfair that someone is innocent and people are casting stones at the person um if you let me i'll go on and on but i'm glad that i'm making this video because i owe it to my loved ones out there i owe it to them i'm recovering i'm fine now and you keep hearing from me thank you so much everybody thank you a lot and um <laughs> i i also want to um indulge or pray i also want to encourage fellow Nigerians who are unaware of what bipolar is to read up on it just like I am doing these past days. Google knows things. Ask Google. Medical practitioners abound in our society. Ask questions. It's me today. It could be you that's watching. It could be your neighbor. Let's look out for each other and let's stop tearing down instead, instead of building up. I'm a firm believer in marriage, I'm a firm believer in life and love, it has not stopped. This third of the of episode has to be the most embarrassing of it that has had me here sitting. There have been many other episodes, over 8 to 10 if I, if I begin to narrate them. Some of them have me, have me enjoying myself, by myself, destroying things, my children terrified. It's, it's, it's a lot, it's deep, but I know within myself, beyond the shadow of doubt, that I am that girl that will never be ashamed to own her truth and speak her truth and stand by it. I am not ashamed, I am not embarrassed, I am fine, I am made perfect by God and I remain God's gift to the world. Thank you so much everybody for watching. I should do this more often, it's, it's exonerating, I feel good in my spirit. God bless us, every one of us. Have an excellent weekend guys. I love you.